Hello everybody and welcome back to another hacking tutorial. Uh, our little park here continues to grow. Uh, we have five attractions in the park now with a sixth one uh, debuting today. So, so far we have done our 2x2 two two little flat ride. We've done our Ferris wheel, our Condor, the uh, Wave Swinger, the Rocking Horse track ride, and today we're going to do the train ride. Um, so this is similar to any uh, of the other train rides that you might build. Uh, it's a continuous circuit, um, one big oval uh, of track, but instead of um, a distinct oval, we're going to reuse a section of track for our um, return. So as we speed this up so you can see it, uh, this train will turn around at the far end and it will pick back up on the same track and it will head back to the station loop where we also loop it around again here. Now, this is a somewhat common hack and I imagine a lot of folks do know this one already, but it's worth bearing out, I think, in case uh, you do want to use this and you don't quite know how it goes about. So what we're gonna do is uh, start by building our uh, miniature railroad um, ride and then we're going to go through and build our layout. So let's uh, just build a random little layout here and we're going to go do uh, this. Now there's some things to consider as far as uh, this goes for uh, shaping of uh, shaping of, of which pieces you put um, before or after each other. Um, just to ensure that uh, you uh, you don't merge things back to each other. So um, what I mean by that is let's uh, do our uh, big loop here and then we'll bring it back in. So the challenge, if you just build this with zero clearance, so with disabled clearance checks, and you just build in the opposite direction, let's do two there. The challenge is that once you um, test this, and just for our testing purposes here, we're going to go ahead and um, disable our operating modes into boat hire so we can we can just watch this go. Okay, so we've got our miniature train. Let's speed him up and take him around. So we built those two in on each other. And typically when you build um, pieces like that, they're going to auto merge. So uh, if it did, this one should end up going back in the other direction. Um, what you can see right there, it does. So basically we've done what's called a reverse merge where we've merged um, a track going one way into a track going the other way um, because the pieces match. They're just facing opposite directions. So now we have this stuck in this infinite loop kind of thing. So we want to avoid that. So what we are going to do is not do that. So we're going to back this up and we're left here. So we went in and we're going to uh, apply the cheat, uh, allow arbitrary ride type changes. And down here uh, on our miniature railroad, we're going to change this to some kind of a coaster. Um, I'm just going to pick mini coaster because why not? So what we're going to do is instead of getting that to merge, we're going to build something different. So what we're going to do is bank this. And the idea is just avoiding the uh, two pieces in a row, which are, um, are the same. So the idea here is that by building this, we can avoid having all of this. And we're gonna change the banking right there just so we can head into here. The challenge that that means is that for things such as the, um, the S-Bend with the large corners, you can't necessarily go one and then two on uh, back to back because that's gonna end up merging things together because you can't have it banked since you don't have the straight piece to unbank it. Um, so that's one and two and it's all merged together. So the nice thing with this is the train uh, ride doesn't have the sprites drawn for banking. So the train doesn't bank visually even when it drives over or uh, runs over banked track. So that means we can uh, use the banked track and the train's gonna essentially ignore it. Let's back this up. 
Let's get a single train and let's, uh, let's disable this so we can get some more vehicles here back to what it was before. Okay. So anyway, let's follow along. So if we did it right, it should work this time, but uh, there's some finicky things with this sometimes. Um, you can get away with some things and not others necessarily, um, but you can see so far we've done it. So there we are. So now all you have to do is turn that um, track back into um, the miniature railroad, which we'll do here, and then you'll note that this guy goes away because we um, uh, we have that as Banks track, and since Bank track isn't drawn as a miniature railroad, it's just going to not be there. So what I've done in the case of this one here, for example, so this is just cosmetic track that I'm using, so let's delete this, for example, and you can kind of see that this piece, and then uh, there's another piece up here that I have is just there for cosmetics so what you want to keep in mind when you build this is it wants to go in the opposite direction so just those and now we're good to go and it's visibly visibly there visibly okay um, so this is uh just your way to basically cross without merging you're trying to um make sure that the train ignores a merge when it otherwise would do it. So it's the same thing with, with crossing, for example. Like if you cross the track, you want to make sure that you go in there and you put something like a piece of brake track or just something that's different. Because typically, if you take a track and you cross it, so uh, let's say I'm going to do this. So let's go out go around and then we're going to go right across and then we will bring this back home so we're not going to do that so in some cases this will merge itself just right away um, the nice thing here is that because of draw order we're not going to but if we were to change this around where uh, we had this guy first and then we merged into that because you can see the one that was there um, first uh, was merged into by the one that was second so basically it's a straight merge so you have that issue where it crosses but if we go back here and we go through and we take this out and then we're going to put in instead a piece of brakes and it can be wide open brakes. Be wide open brakes, but now when we see this thing go around, brakes aren't going to affect this. It's just going to continue on through and go along. So essentially, what you need to do is just in order to avoid a merge, you want to go in and build a uh, any merges with a track that's dissimilar. So not a straight piece at any orientation, or if this is a curve, not a curved piece at any orientation. So this needs to be a chain lift or a brake run or something to differentiate it so it doesn't merge, so then you can do your tests uh, or your rides. So again, like we did earlier here, I mean, it's, it's the same, same deal um, where we just have a one strip that we want to share. It doesn't have to be one, it can be multiple, um, and that's all you need. So again, this is a pretty simple hack, a nice easy one to do. Uh, in case you were wondering, this uh, specific train is a custom train that uh, I have used uh, by Space K. This is the CP Huntington train that Chance makes for parks around the world. Um, and I like the look of it, it feels very classic, so that's what I used. Um, you can download that or new element, and I'll put a download link in the description uh, if you would like to download it. So that's all for today. Uh, that is number four. Uh, number six for our uh, hacking tutorial little park here. I am taking name suggestions for the park if you'd like to help us name this little park uh, or any of the rides. Um, and so anyway, join in next time when uh, we're going to up the thrills a little bit and build our first roller coaster. So uh, we will uh, see you soon on that. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you uh, learned something and hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much.